now, here we go, finally. Jamie versus Zangief. Jamie starts with a quick drink, getting a normal throw, resets to get another drink. Overhead. You gonna see a setup? No. Gonna see, yeah, there we go. I knew that was happening. Just waiting for it. Just waiting for that coin flip. Every interaction, defensive, offensive, even in neutral against Zangief, might as well be a coin flip at times. Here we go. Justin, not afraid to flip that coin. Here we go, catching that overhead. There we go. There we go. Finally, an anti air command grab from Burn. I do not see him utilizing it all that much. We are catching him with that drive rush, but gets right back out. Blocks the drive reversal, no punish in burnout, but doesn't get that stun that he wanted. He's very scared to even approach him, even in burnout. There you go, drive rush, heavy punch. Just gonna hang on with a sliver. Know that level one cash out will do it. that whiff a lot of careful careful footsies of the hole that is minus but he wasn't able to punish it in time reversal jamie's reversal not great but any kind of reversal is needed absolutely needed for this zangief matchup no punish for that heavy punch you can parry it you can drive impact it there you go drinks install it's called a friday night here in harrisonburg no more throw into the corner, keeping them locked down and scared of that potential command grab, which we're not going to see in this uh, in this round. Go catching that low. Just a lot of poking low back and forth, being blocked and parried. Both players very cautious of each other's options here. Aggression is being limited to absolute calculated poise just like that. That hard knockdown, but doesn't press to get that coin flip going. Dive kick for movement. Drive rush heavy punch, but backs right off. Doesn't try to keep that pressure going despite the plus frames. There we go. Does it again. It's just fishing. Just fishing for that poke. He knows he can go for it. There we go. Headbutt. And here we go with that level three cash out. This is scaled. This won't be critical art, but let's find out. It is. That's game one to burn. Two very calculated players here. Drive rush, hell stab, command grab. Just getting these drinks when he can. Zangief doesn't really have too much of an option to interrupt those drinks. Like just like that, already up to three very quickly into the match, but here we go. Resetting out of the corner, getting that drive rush poke. Having to jump back to create some space here. Interrupting DP. Here we go, will we see a drink? No, we won't. No more throw is teched. Jamie in the one touch territory if a command grab can land here. Put into burnout by that standing heavy punch. Catching with that breakdance low, getting the drink for the install. Dashes in for the normal grab. Does it again, whiffs. Headbutt, hell stab, jump back. Overheads blocked out of burnout, both characters. Nearly full drive bars, well all around. How will they spend it? Esoteric Jamie target combo I've never seen before. But the Lariat wasn't interrupted in time. That was very, very, very risky for both players. Good. Very good. Very nice. Drive rush. Ooh, interrupts that standing heavy punch with a very good low-hitting move. That's really the key to dealing with that very good heavy punch. It's frame four armored. You can't interrupt it up a mid. Gets away from that command grab, but very low punish. That could have been dead right there. 
Mikey, do not get on comms. Just, there's, there's no reining him in. DP is punished. Level 3 is on deck. It is critical art. However, it will be scaled. I don't think this will kill. There we go. Very close. Very close. Both characters in burnout. Could potentially chip him out for level 3, but just needs those chops. Alright, taking over here. It is interesting, we got a very big body character here versus someone who does a lot of chip. Hello. Hello. Okay, so we have uh, Zangief, he did a, just an air, that was an insanely Here's good air PSP. Of course, take your time. Okay. Hello. Oh, wait, hang on a minute. He didn't say vibes. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Hello. Hello there. Damn it. <laughs> so, I'm Swag Mikey. And I'm arrived. We are commentating. We are commentating today. We have. How many Street hours Fighter of Street Fighter have you played? Uh, maybe 300? Mm. I played like 0.5. Yeah, you know, I, I enjoy the game quite a bit. Uh, when Akuma came out, I picked him up like everyone else did. Honestly, I haven't found my character in that game. Like, the thing is, I'm willing to give any fighting game a shot, but if I, only if I can find a character I like. And I just didn't find one in Street Fighter. Like, I tried Dalsim, because I like zoners in traditional fighters, but I just didn't like Dalsim. Zangief just took that entire set, and I think that is there a like, 3 -0 sweep. Is there a brain rot character, like Victor? Uh, I would say JP's pretty brain rot. Uh, Honda's pretty brain rot. E-Honda uh, sounds nice. Okay, maybe I'll try it again.